Alright, ladies and problem, welcome back. This is going to be the second qualifier for the South Zone. Here in the semifinals before us, we have uh, two teams. One of them I do believe we've seen before, except uh, we're going to be not be focusing on that game. That's MIA coming back. However, we're going to be casting Alternate Reality 5 versus uh, Bob Ray. At least that's how I'm going to have to pronounce it. And we are currently waiting for the knife round to go down. And it looks like that is it. We're going to be going into our knife round right now. Excuse me there, I just had to quickly step away and we go ahead and see Maddox taking down his foe right here. We've got 3v3 going down. The HP is highly in favor of T side right now. In fact, this should be impossible to lose. Or, yep. And it was. T team is going to go ahead and get to swap. They're not going to make the mistake this time of choosing T over CT side. Like we did see from a previous team and... That means BHR on CT side. I'm a little bit confused as to who goes where at this point, but I think it's safe to say AR5 stays on T side. like we're missing one player but yeah our semifinals match is gonna come down to nuke as the two T's duel it out here in T uh, in T spawn one of them gonna be left that's gonna be miracle but he goes down to a knife and uh, we're just waiting on the last reconnect as there apparently is a server glitch prohibiting him from joining up onto the server. That shouldn't hurt them too much, or at least uh, he should be back soon enough. Yeah, there isn't a backing to this. Uh, any of these objects, wherever you don't need to build, there isn't. So inside it's just complete darkness. How far back can you go? Oh, because you can see down here they've constructed it, but like, the side right there, there's no wall. There doesn't need to be a wall, but there needs to be a wall for that side. It's just, it seems meticulous and, like, not to put that stuff there, but I guess if you're an experienced map designer, that just saves you a lot of time. I see a lot of the new map designers, or at least a lot of the new maps that come out, um... The area that are is off skirts, the area off the actual map that where players can't go, is actually really well built. It's, it's actually um, really well designed and all that good stuff, but uh, it's it's got a lot of detail in the background that you can actually just in, probably should go explore uh, if you're ever looking at it. Uh, looking at some of those maps. Specifically, I can't wait to see when the new DE season comes out. Uh, there's a new DE season coming in from the works. I cannot wait to see how that is uh, received and to just, it, it looks glorious. 100% custom te textures. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun to play on and it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun just to see um, because of how beautiful those textures are. I mean, it's it's a different game at that point, so there's an argument to be said that CS can't take place on it. But if anything, this is uh, s since all our players have migrated, all the CS players have migrated to go. Um, even though it's different, they've stuck with it. I don't see why a uh, difference in normalized um, artwork, because the map is like it's very different. It's very vibrant. It's colorful. It's like Mirror's Edge ish. Um, I don't see why that would prohibit anyone from taking the map competitively, uh, from... I don't see why that would disqualify it on a competitive standard. And here we go, we are on our pistol round. 
Terrorists are going to take it very slowly. No rush coming out from them. Oh, but Miracle's going to take down one. Pwn going to try and take out his opponent, opponent, but he needs to be aiming for the head here. And there you go. He is going to land one headshot. He's looking for the second one now. Baits the enemy team into the second one. And now he's going to get the third one. Pwn is on a roll. But meanwhile, the terrorists have been doing equal amounts of work. And now it's all left up to Spyro. They don't know where he is, but now his position has been revealed. And all he needs to do is hold out, but he just can't quite keep up to those Glocks. The 3k from Cheese. Um, exactly what his team needed to finish off the round. And that, that builds a strong start, start here for Alternate Reality 5. We're going to see them followed up. We know who the dedicated opera is, and we know an op is going to be coming out because of Mugiwara. But it looks like he's going to be the bait in this round as he runs out by himself. Gets taken down by the first P250 he comes across, but his friendlies are definitely taking down the rest of his opponents. Although maybe not in as quick a fashion as they could have, as Pokers and the CT team in general have taken down two opponents and left Pokers alive. I don't know what he's trying to do here. Is he going to buy something? Oh, he's out of ammo, so he's changed out pistols in hopes to grab one more kill. And he will grab one more kill, but can he retrieve the weapon safely? He's going to get spotted here, and now out in the open, it seems hopeless as he's going against a P90. The spray down was inevitable, and he does get finished off. Alternate reality get to keep their advantage here and keep building it a little bit larger. CTs are going to be forced to play out the first buy round as seriously as possible. Letting the first buy round escape from them would be absolutely drastic. And was that an entire team pausing? That was weird. Oh, but here comes the rush. Poker trades out and a kill comes in. And only one person in this entire rush gets left alive. That's going to be Pexwell hiding right here in Hut. He's going to get found out very quickly as two people come straight to him and take him down. reality looks like they want to go outside here they get flashed and they halter for a moment but miracles just gonna push right through he's pushing right by a CT that's gonna be pokers outside and apparently his position still not called out either that or miracle just doesn't care he's gonna plow through the positioning here with his p90 and now he's come right behind one of his opponents on ramp and he's gonna face the opposing CT he takes him down getting flanked from hell he manages to keep himself alive and now he's looking for Pexwell who knows He's definitely just heard. It looks like Pexwell just lagged out of the game or something. But he was jumping, so uh, input was definitely there. And now Delphi... Oh, Miracle gets taken down. It's in a 1v2 situation. Bomb is down outside, guarded by Spiro. They have no idea what direction he'll be coming from. But on Nuke, there's a limited amount of areas. And that much is for sure. B is a much more open site, and oh boy, Pokers catching that just in the nick of time. Nearly completely missed Delphi, but now Delphi's position is most assuredly known. And now he goes up against Spyro, and he will not live. Doesn't land the shots his team needs, and alternate reality will lose the first buy round. They're going to be able to buy up again, but now they're feeling the same pressures that CTs felt last round. Meanwhile, CTs kind of still have that pressure on them. As if they lose this round, they will be saving next. And Anakil, unfortunately, with a 5-7. We'll see how much work he can do specifically with it. But it looks like the T's are going to be testing out their upper hold. Miracle comes out onto site, gets taken down by Pex. 
Mugi comes out onto site, but he's looking the wrong direction, and now the rest of them decide to follow. Like, a minute later, the rotate from the CT is already there, and they take down all five of them as they try and storm out into A site. If they'd just gone together, definitely would have worked out much better. The terrorist team is going to have to learn from that, that uh, A site is not their weak site, and a rush, especially on a pistol round, is not going to work as well if they don't go together. Miracle's going to be leading this charge here, but he gets surprised by a player down in secret. Delphi going to be spamming the Glock, doesn't land the bullet that he wants to hit the enemy head, but Cheese in the meantime is going to be able to pick up a kill. Wugiwara working really well with his teammate. They do manage to burst down and a kill to 46 HP. And now Cheese has a weapon, but he gets taken out. Wugiwara now falls, and that's just good holds coming out from the CTs. They lose that first player, but don't let it get to them. And react just fine for the other four remaining, uh, with the other four remaining members they had. Tease. They're sitting in lobby. They're definitely geared up for ramp. They look like they want to push all five out. And, oh, Miracle's going to go for the shot. He gets tagged, but gets out alive. Now he's going to change it up, look for a different angle. Jeez, they're taking it nice and slow here. They managed to get Miracle outside, but he gets taken down by Pokers, who has an AWP as well. Jeez, continues to progress forward. Doesn't manage to catch Pwn. Now it's going to be on Mugiwara. Mugiwara, a little bit shaken up. He's going to walk point blank into that flash, gets taken down by an opponent, and now the CTs collapse on their opposing team completely. Finish up the rest of the members fairly quickly. But alternate reality, they're going to buy up. Or excuse me, yes, they are going to buy up. They seem to be a team that heavily favors the, um, the P90, as a player's had it almost every round, and now Mugiwara i gonna pick up the MP7. Ooh, Pokers goes for the off shot through the box. Doesn't manage to hit it, but it's okay. Spyro's holding very well for him here. But now it's all on Pokers. He's out in the open with the teammate to back him up. That's exactly what he needed. And now Anakil to con uh, to stack three CTs outside. They do finish off the terrorists. And alternate reality five are really uh, they really need a lurker. Uh, they do a lot of five man pushes, but they're not breaking through. So they need to send out a distraction using two or three players, and then have the other two lurking. The five-man pushes are definitely not working. They've uh, they've tried every uh, every position that they can push so far. Of damage coming in. T's are falling apart and they haven't even left lobby. Now they're getting pushed in on again. Anakil's gonna pick up a kill, so is Pexwell. 
And this is looking very one-sided. Alternate reality haven't won a single round after the pistol round. Despite the fact that they're still grabbing kills here and there. Poker, the, uh, the player with the omp, doing well, but there's still Spyro and Anakill also. CTs at this point are definitely feeling very confident. 6-1 rounds in a row is very motivational. And here we go, we're going to see Poker's challenge outside. Cheese finishes off a CT player trying to escape, but now Pokers is going to come in on ramp with an op. We'll see if he manages to find the player he's looking for. Op now revealed on ramp. He's going to get aggressive with a CZ instead. Gets greedier, comes in with the op, but gets finished off by Mugiwara. And now it's the flank that's coming in from behind them right now that's going to catch them off guard. It's going to be Spyro coming in. Does he decide to go for the knife? No, he gets spotted, but manages to finish them both off with a headshot. Mugiwara's flank instantly shutting down that round, continuing the streak that the counter-terrorists are on. And uh, things are getting a little bit bad here for alternate reality. They really can't find anything that seems to work against their opponent. You're absolutely right, these guys are just downright losing aim battles. The South uh, Qualifier is actually a very small zone, and we had a small amount of teams competing today. So, uh, despite this being the semifinals, a lot of action. Pokers is getting really aggressive. He's got that off. He's greedy for a kill, but fires a little bit too quickly, or, or too tightly, excuse me, on the corner. And now he gets blocked by Anakil, who stumbles into his teammate, and they both get finished off because of it. Byro knows where the last player is, spots him now, does manage to finish him off. And 8-3, CTs are pretty confident at this point, for sure. Looks like we're going to quickly be moving into our finals match here, guys. There we go. Offer comes out, takes down Spyro and um, T Red. Now he's looking for his second player right here, but he is getting sprayed through boxes. Poker takes down two opponents. He's gonna catch Miracle with a nice flick shot. And now, run in with the CZ. He runs right by an opponent, no scopes him, but the last remaining player is right behind him. Mugiwara misses his shot and gets finished off. That is a 4K for Pokers. Oh man. Having jumped right by his opponent, that looked like the biggest mistake that was going to cost him his life, but he managed to pull out with a victory nonetheless. Poker set up to try and defend down below here. Gonna pull out a CZ. He manages to finish one off despite his odd circumstance. Well played by him. But now the remaining CTs are out of position. Except Anakil coming in with the flank is gonna take down the player who goes into vent. But he didn't have control of bomb. Pone rotates up into CT heaven. Or excuse me. Yes, rotates up into taken out. And Mugiwara is now the last one left alive. Goes for the plant, but uses it as a decoy. Uses the sound to pull in the opposing players, but he doesn't land the shot he's looking for. And now 10-3. This is uh this is definitely a stomp fest at this point. Ten rounds in a row, going straight to the counter-terrorist side. And uh, not many of them close. We see Spyro so confident he's picking up a Negev, along with so much cash on the CT side that they have three ops. It's, uh, this looks like the round to lose, in all honesty. It's usually when you pull out one too many ops that you, uh, start losing. 
Spyro is going to get aggressive with that Negev. Finishes off two players. If Anakil gets the one D, that leaves Delphi and Munu right here alive. Munu going to be rotating into Vent. It's going to send the players on a witch hunt right now. As Miracle says, we surrender. They're feeling outmatched. That much is for sure. Munu takes down one. Looking for a second one. Not going to find it. He's getting pistoled right now. They're at equal health. And Pexwell will finish him off with a nice headshot coming in there. T's open up with one kill. They're going to follow it up with the second one. Poker's getting aggressive here. Goes for the op shot, but misses. Cheese punishes them for it. Now things are getting exciting. As Pexwell looks like he might go down as well. He barely manages to keep himself alive, but T's have control of ramp. Pexwell's forced onto the rotate. Looks like Munu didn't spot him on the right-hand side. Pwn drops as well. That's two CT players in vent now. As one actually gets finished off by a grenade, it's not the original person that he intended to finish off, but it works nonetheless. Gonna be on Pwn to clutch this round. He opens up doors here. Now they know where he is. He's just gonna jump out into the open, get finished off. And 11 4 is gonna be our half. Team switch side and they get ready for next round. We'll see if alternate reality can start it off with a pistol round. A one pistol round can definitely put them back into this game. Looks like terrorists are going to go for the straight A upper rush. Munu jumps out of excitement, but it ends up being his death there. And now two CTs left. It's not looking good. CTs get finished off in quick fashion, and with a one pistol round, it is actually looking like it might just be the end of alternative, alternate reality five. And a kill. Here's him up there. Decides to take out the grenade. T's are just on the hunt at this point. They have the weaponry. They know they have the advantage. Mugiwara, last one left alive on 1 HP. Does good damage, but doesn't land the headshot. Will get finished off. And 13-4. Oh, the FAMAS doesn't get the entry kill it's looking for, but Munu picks up one instead. 
Now, oh, Cheese is doing work with the 5-7. Takes down two players with headshots. Looking for the third. He's actually going to retreat as he's taken down to 18 HP and rotate down into Secret. It's looking really good for the CTs right now as they do manage to upset and leave Pwn as the only one left alive. Can he clutch a 1v4 when all he needs to do is land two bullets and he can take out two opponents? Chez is going to move right out of the line of sight of Pwn there. And the question is, did Chez spot his opponent? Yes, they do know where he is. Munu gets taken down to 50 HP. Pwn takes down one. He's looking for the second one now. Gonna get surprised by a player outside in heaven, but the player in heaven doesn't take the time with the shot. However, Munu does come in with the flank that secures the round for his team. Thirteen five, and finally on this half we see both teams able to afford a buy here. Miracle tries to hold outside, does a little bit of damage, but doesn't manage to stop them from taking control. CTs can hear them pushing outside, so they do know what's coming. Pokers is going to be picking a fight with Chez. Or Cheese. Cheese is more likely what his name is, excuse me. And it looks like they're acting as bait right now. It is a 3v3, but that's going to quickly become a 2v2 here if Pwn can finish off his opponent, which he does. Gonna jump around the corner, but gonna sabotage his own efforts as Anakil is gonna go for the plant down on B his smoke lands in the wrong position and Munu is gonna rotate here just in time to finish him off Munu doesn't drop oh nearly gets taken out he's gonna smoke out one of the vents Anakil is looking a little bit nervous here Runs out into the open thinking he's behind bomb site, but that's not the case. Munu gets a free and easy shot, takes down his opponent, and now we see 13 6. Bomb has been defused. Counter terrorists win. Terrorists are going to storm out on the site. Pokers picks up one kill. Not going to be able to pick up the second. He actually opens up site, uh, drops bomb out in the open. But Spyro, with the nice flank here, manages to get this shot down in time to save his friendly. And now bomb's going to be rotating down into lower, where they've run directly into two CTs. One of them with an op, and Chez sitting behind site now reveals himself. He's going to be able to pick up one kill, but not the second as Spyro sprays him down. Pwn's going to go for the bomb plant, and this is a 3v2. Our second player coming in does finish off uh, Pexwell, who doesn't seem to know where his location is. And CTs yet again managed to pick up another round. Smoke's coming down outside. One player's gonna push it, but in the meantime, there's a lot of fighting going on here at ramp. They've taken down two opponents so far, and there goes the third. 
That's going to be Spyro falling as well. Bomb down out in the open at A. Pwn and Pexwell kind of perplexed as what they should be doing in this situation. Pexwell's going to survive going outside, make it into secret, but he's going to run directly into a player at Vents. Pulls out his AK just in time, does catch Miracle off guard, finishes him off. But in a 1v3, just how much damage can he really do? Munu does finish him off from afar. And that is another round for Alternate Reality, making a comeback into this game. It is looking pretty good for them as Terrace do need to go for a save, but it looks like they might full buy. Or, well, force buy. They didn't force up armor, but they did spend a lot of money on smokes, flashes. Pexwell even going as far as getting an AK and armor. It looks like they're going to be a rushing upper here as they smoke sight. They do manage to take it, but only temporarily. CTs are currently reclaiming it. Miracle misses the second shot there after taking down the first. It is a 5v2 with bomb down on A site. Miracle's going to sit on top of Vents here. But no, he is going to chase. He's looking for Anakill, and he is going to find him, but he didn't take the shot like he thought he did. Switched to his weapon before the shot went off. Peeks the same corner again. Oh, and he does get finished off by Anakill. A little bit nerve-wracking there. Anakill goes down to 10 HP. But he does get one, and now he's looking for one more. Gonna get the no-scope before Muno can react. Muno can react. One grenade and he'd be over, that much is for sure. Takes down one, but doesn't get the second. She's sitting right behind that vent, finishes him off before the next bullet can prepare itself in the chamber of that op. An alternate reality. Solidifying their comeback into this game. Delphi going to be the one to defend outside along with Miracle. Miracle picks up the first kill, which is a perfect distraction for Delphi. Ugiwara falls back on ramp, losing a little bit of control here. It's going to be Miracle on the rotate, who's looking for his opponent. And he will find it. Pokers finds him, but the op reacts quicker. And the one bullet finishes him off. As Pwn does manage to grab Bomb, he's going to be flanked here from outside, but he's expecting it. Nice headshot comes in. Now it's a 1v2. Miracle just misses that op shot. Pwn is going to come out onto A site. Catches the end of that gun. Not long before he gets flanked here. Miracle's been walking the entire way. Oh, but Pwn knows. The weapon was dropped, but he doesn't quite catch the edge of that barrel as he walks into hut, looks the wrong way at the wrong time, and gives yet another round, despite how well he was looking. Look like they're gonna go for a rush. Miracle gets out alive, but they're already on site. They're storming in. Miracle whips out one headshot, looking for another. He's not gonna find it. Mugiwara comes up on the ro rotate. Bomb is dropped. And it's all down to the last two remaining CTs here. 
Miracle picks up one more. Another headshot on top of that. But he overextends that peak just a little bit too much. And he does get taken down. It's all on Munu right here. But Munu doesn't look like he can do it. He's going to back off temporarily. And another smoke is going to come in. And that's going to make it practically impossible to get through the T defense. He's going to go ahead and find himself a corner to hide inside. And he's going to stick to it as he wants to keep this weapon for next round. We'll go ahead and check out the cash here. It does look like with him saving, they'll be able to force up for next round. Or buy up fully for next round. So now, finally, Terrace in quite a few rounds get their first win. It's been a good six or seven, six rounds since the CTs have uh, lost. So we'll see how they decide to follow it up. And they decide to follow it up with what worked last time. However, this time, there are four CTs stacked up in this location. Miracle keeps waiting for them to aggress, but Mugiwara is going to come in above them and now that they're smoked off they're gonna change their direction completely come in on ramp and pokers is right here miracle expects it but doesn't manage to get the shot off in time instead gets finished off by pokers and now 2v4 mugiwara picks up one for free as delphi's gonna rotate down into b he should be able to catch the bomb planner off guard and he will finish him off brings it back into a 2v2 the dream is still alive He's going to run right into opponent though, and that's going to be Spyro taking him down. However, Mugiwara does turn it into a 1v1. He knows where Bomb is. He knows where his opponent's going to come from. But Spyro gets the better of him. Mugiwara just a little bit too tense in that situation and gets finished off. So now, looks like our match might finally come to a close here. 15-10, alternate reality with quite the comeback after the 11-4 half that they, uh, that they made. It's going to start with Spyro here, switching to a CZ before using his AK, an interesting decision, but he gets the kill. In the meantime, Miracle is holding beautifully over at ramp and leaves only one player left alive and a kill. Who nearly picks up a kill on Chez and will eventually, but he's gonna fall back. I think Munu has got the call here as he's sitting waiting for him. If not, he definitely hears those thunder feet making plenty of noise, and the two CTs just happen to be waiting on ramp for him. That really should have been the end of Alternate Reality 5, but they win another round, and they're four rounds away from forcing up the overtime. Chez is gonna rotate to Cheese is gonna rotate to outside after Delphi goes down to that CZ fire. One CT is going to have already have rotated. And uh, this is where the terrorists need to be picking up on is uh, how quickly these players rotate. Bomb is right here in control. But it's not gonna go for a direct B plant. They know about the quick rotates. They know the attitude of AR5. Mugiwara is going to get into a firefight with Poker. But can he finish him off? No, Poker will win. She's in a battle of his own. Munu's going to fall back as Cheese takes care of his opponent. It's going to be Pexwell, the last one left alive with 1 HP. Cheese is going to hunt him down and finish him off. Three rounds away from overtime.
right, CTs are gonna keep up the defense that has been working. Anakil's gonna get aggressive out. It doesn't get punished for it, but uh, the first takedown in HUT is huge. Gives CTs a great start off to this match. And now with the smoke falling on ramp, Anakil's gonna have to get the opening kill. There are three CTs defending it, and they haven't even gotten through the first one as Miracle lands two consecutive op shots. He's gonna go to, oh, he's gonna go jump down. And Pexwell. Oh, Pexwell's gonna take down one. Go for the second one, but he gets flanked from behind. Mugiwara's bait was perfect. Pone desperately searching for Mugiwara here. As Miracle actually misses the shot, he goes down to 16 HP. And it looks like this should be another round for alternate reality. And it will be. Miracle doing a ton of work for his team here. 24 and 20. Uh, as well as Cheese, 22 and 22 right now. The terrorists who had BHR, who had a great start to this game, just can't seem to find anything that works. They're gonna go ahead and push outside. Delphi gonna get away alive after spraying one foot. Mugiwara takes down one, goes for the reload, not able to fight back, and a kill finishes him off. But Munu's gonna trade out with him as the rest of the CTs, except for one, do slip into secret. Pokers is gonna be challenging on ramp. And now Pokers on one ammo, gonna have to back up. He's only got two allies left alive to help him deal with this. And that's gonna be Spyro who finishes off Chez. Poker comes back. And he is going to get a free weapon to fight with here, as it is a 2v2, a lot of it up to Miracle right now, who gets caught on ladder, not able to fight back. Munu hiding right here in secret. Gonna catch Spyro while he's flashed, but doesn't, does pick up the kill. So it looks a little bit questionable. And there you go, Miracle gonna find the op shot, 15-14, alternate reality. Wanting to quit at first. Now look like they're going to force this match up into overtime. Round 30 going to decide everything here for BHR. Gonna make sure they don't get rushed. Miracle reacts in time to poker while Spyro picks up an op kill on the player in mini. Psychedelic gave us some awesome footage yesterday. Welcome back, man. Right now we're in our semifinals. About to go to overtime, it looks like, but right now it's 4 4. Could go either way. And uh, they're relying quite heavily on Spyro. It's definitely Miracle right now who's been doing all the work and uh, pulling off a miracle of his own as he brings his team back from the 11-4 half that looked truly devastating. Maxwell's gonna pick up one kill on Munu. He nearly goes down outside, but he does manage to keep himself alive and that's what's important. Miracle is occupied elsewhere where he doesn't need to be. And a flank is coming. Is Miracle gonna turn around in time? He hears the players, takes down one. Spyro not reacting in time, does get finished off by Pwn, but now Cheese is here to clean up the rest of the players. It's back to a 2v2. Spyro going for the op shot, but he's completely flanked. Gets taken down by good teamwork. And now Pexwell is the only one left. His last, uh, his location completely unknown. But with it being ramp room and 10 seconds left, it's not looking lightly. Likely, he doesn't realize the time. Nobody's telling him anything. Two, one. Overtime.
So there you have it. Alternate reality. Win 11 rounds. They managed to force up to the 15th round and force up overtime. My only question at this point is, is it, is it a best of 6 or is it a best of 10 that they're going to be playing? Which rule set are they going to be playing by? Go ahead and ask the admin in the server, Kazama. Looks like it's going to be a be best of six, okay. And they're going to be playing with 10k. A lot of action happening here in the beginning. As one of the remaining CTs that's going to be Mugiwara picks up the op after Miracle goes down quite quickly. Terrorists are going to rotate down below. But Pokers is still lurking here on ramp. There you go. Looks like they caught them off guard. Last time they weren't even able to win more than old oh, cool pokers with a nice op shot. And uh, again, it is a race to the best of four. Or a race to the first of four. Excuse me, I'm using the admin terminology. It's a best of six, so the first one of four wins. And uh, just being able to get one point when previously they could barely even get out of 15 rounds, three rounds on... Uh, on T side, when you only need four and getting one on T side, I mean, that's uh, that might just be good enough. And here you go, CTs are gonna go for a rush in through mini. Oh, and one now looking on ramp. Will his opponent come directly to him, or will he have to search? CTs, they know he's coming. Secret Miracle takes down one. Miracle goes for the second, doesn't manage to get it. Ramp room now open, gets smoked out as terrorists are gonna rotate onto B site. Cheese manages to pick off one and gonna go for the two terrorists lined up. He does a little bit of damage to both of them, but doesn't finish either of them off. They know exactly where Moon is rotating in from. And now it's a 2-0 lead on T side. Not looking good for alternate rea reality. Whatever was working previously isn't working anymore. And uh, I think that's because they're not uh, making the same plays here. And now, on the last round of the half, they're already strapped for cash, and they're going to be forcing up here. Mugiwara gets spotted outside, and now he's going to get flashed on top of it. And a kill, expects him up close, and will be able to finish him off, but not without taking significant damage. Although it already spells a little bit of misfortune here. Oh, as she's picks up one, he's gonna go for a second, get too greedy and die. Delphi's gonna be the next one to charge up here. Manages to capture bomb. Munu's gonna go ahead and rotate, but he's been hurt on ladder as there is a terrorist in a site right now. They know exactly what's up in this situation, and they can react accordingly. Oh, Delphi goes down. They're gonna go for the recover on the bomb. It's all up to Munu. But there you go. Three rounds in a row go straight to the terrace. And yet again, the enemy team is gonna call GG. Or at least Delphi will.
All right, here, guys. We're on our second half. It is a three-point advantage. The CTs here only need one point on CT side. That sounds hopeless for alternate reality. But uh, after last, uh, after the last 30 rounds we just witnessed, it uh, doesn't seem that hopeless for alternate fi uh, reality five, honestly. Ooh, Munu gets a little bit too aggressive and does get offed by poker. Meanwhile, Anakil's gonna find a kill of his own on Miracle. Hex, well, he's gonna notice nobody outside. Will he go for the wrap? Poker getting very aggressive up here in Hut. He's gonna get flashed, but he gets out safely. Hexwell finally starting to work towards this ramp here. As Spyro comes to assist with a little bit of help here on ramp. He's going to have a smoke out at the worst time possible, but he's going to get leg shot by his opponent. It looks like he's completely disconnected, and he will get finished off. Going to be Anna kill to pick up the next kill, followed by Poker, who rotates in with the op. But the terrorists have control of a site as Anna kill actually sprays down his friendly. Anakil gets taken down while jumping. Pokers comes in, cleans up one, cleans up the second, and that is GG. That's going to be the end of it here. Alternate Reality 5 managed to force up the overtime, but gets finished out 19-15 in the long run. Stick around, guys. We're going to be taking a short break and bringing you back to the finals match coming up shortly for the South Qualifier number two. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll be right back, guys.